it probably doesn't come as too much of a surprise that sharks will eat pretty much anything. They are hungry characters with big appetites, so whatever they can get hold of is fair game. <laughs> Be it other fish or a stray gumboot, sharks are seriously not fussy. Oh my god! From the shark who ate an aquarium housemate to the one who made light work of a 42 pound cannonball, here are 15 craziest things swallowed by a shark. Number 15. Big Shark Eats Little Shark in Seoul Aquarium An eight-year-old female shark once lived with a male companion in a Seoul Aquarium, but things took a dramatic turn one day in January 2016. COEX Aquarium staff in South Korea witnessed the sand tiger shark devouring the smaller five-year-old shark. With a meter's difference in size, this battle to the death was said to be like a turf war. The gruesome attack happened late on a Thursday evening and lasted for quite some time. Or rather, swam into an even bigger sun tiger shark. I mean, it would take some chewing to swallow a whole shark, wouldn't it? Obviously, the aquarium staff weren't feeding the larger female enough, so she took it upon herself to help herself to a quick snack. Unfortunately, that snack was her tank mate. Once the struggle was over, the female shark could be seen swimming around the tank, munching away. In fact, the tail of the shark could still be seen hanging out 21 hours later. What a sight. Aquarium staff said that these types of sharks have a very slow and uncooperative digestive system, meaning that it took four to five days to completely swallow the other shark. If that isn't bad enough, after a week, the shark pretty much vomited its stomach contents back up again. Imagine having to clean that up. According to experts, the attack wasn't hunger-induced. It was simply based on the fact that the female shark had decided to mark its own territory that day. She decided that the aquarium was hers, and the male shark was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. This sure is an interesting place to keep your young, isn't it? I mean, who would have thought that in the deep, dark depths of the ocean, the great white shark, the one that sends shivers down the gills of other fish and spines of many humans, would think to protect their babies in this way. Do they keep them in their mouth? Probably not likely, but how else can we explain this unusual picture? Surely a great white hasn't swallowed a slightly smaller great white. There can't be many more explanations though, can there? I'm also wondering how this guy can breathe with this exceptionally large obstruction between his teeth. It makes you wonder how this even happened. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Cannonball. Made of solid iron or stone and weighing anywhere up to 42 pounds, a cannonball is the last thing on my list to try and eat, but it's still on there. It would have to be a very unrewarding thing to consume, like a gobstopper with no sweet taste or crunchy end. In the West Indies in 1823, a shark was caught. Now that's not exactly unusual, but when fishermen began the gutting process, they came across a large weighted object deep within its stomach. How it got there, no one's too sure, but some speculate that it was found on the seabed and eaten whereas others suggested that pirates may have weighed down their victims and thrown them overboard. Perhaps the shark then feasted on the corpse and accidentally engulfed the cannonball in the process. When they cut the creature open, they were surprised to find a cannonball inside. Whatever the case, I can't imagine much chewing was involved. It wouldn't be possible. What we can learn from this finding, however, is that sharks are obviously extremely strong. In this case, the cannonball weighed six pounds. That's a lot of extra weight for a small shark to be carrying around as it swims and hunts its prey. It'd be the equivalent of us having a ball and chain attached to our leg all day. Sounds uncomfortable to me. Number 13. Full-Sized Dolphin 
I think we're already starting to learn that sharks will eat just about anything, and this is definitely true for the tiger shark. They are notoriously non-fussy eaters, commonly known as garbage cans of the ocean. Dolphins, on the other hand, are known as fun-loving, playful creatures that on the odd occasion have put themselves in the way of humans and sharks as a line of defense. Tiger sharks' appetites cause them trouble as they move through the ocean devouring just about anything, including license plates, fur coats, and even old boots. We know that these sharks eat anything. Is that the shark? No, on your left, at 11. It's coming up, it's coming up. However, scientists have still been left shocked after recent findings. At the Gulf Coast Research Laboratory, scientists were dissecting a massive, nine-foot-long tiger shark as part of their latest research. They were left bewildered when they discovered the bones of an adult, seven-foot-long dolphin filling its stomach. How on earth did the tiger shark manage to swallow such a fish? Scientists were baffled by the size of the dolphin and the fact that it was actually in there. How the dolphin became dinner for the shark is another mystery, as they usually travel in packs to protect one another. I, it just can't have been this dolphin's lucky day. Number 12. A whole sea lion. When I think about sharks, I picture rows of razor-sharp teeth waiting to rip its next victim into small, bite-sized pieces. So when I hear about sharks eating prey whole, I can't really get my head around the concept at all. Not only do they have a lot of teeth, they must have one enormous throat. One of the biggest mako sharks ever caught was dissected and its organs donated to science. The scientists used the shark's organs to see exactly what the huge shark dined on. The results were pretty incredible. The shark weighed in at a massive 590 kilograms and is said to have eaten just about anything. This was confirmed when scientists discovered an entire sea lion completely intact inside the shark more than 2,000 stomachs, so this is actually the biggest one I ever done. Now, a sea lion wouldn't be the smallest creature to try and swallow all at once, would it? I don't know about you, but I can't even fathom the logistics of such a mission. Was the sea lion in the wrong place at the wrong time, or was it that the shark was extremely hungry at the exact moment it came into view? The study by scientists has proved quite helpful, providing an insight into what is eating what down in the depths. It also helps refine the ocean's food chain, which is an important aspect in managing conservation of the ocean's ecosystems. Number 11. Polar Bear If you think things couldn't get any crazier, you'd be wrong. This one involves a polar bear. A big, white, 450-kilogram Arctic Circle bear. Not quite, but close. Scientists studying the Greenland shark's hunting habits came across a very unusual sight when they began searching through its stomach lining. What they found had never been seen before. During the dissection, they found part of a young polar bear's jaw. How it got to be there remains a mystery. Was it a shark attack ending in consumption, or was it simply a shark scavenging on the remnants of the bear's carcass? Researchers say that the 10-centimeter bone fragment would have belonged to a young bear, no more than three years old. However, a three-year-old polar bear would still put up a bit of a fight, would it not? This unique find has scientists scratching their heads. Does the Greenland shark attack live bears? If so, it provides more proof that these sharks really are scavengers, eating anything they can find. This might be part of the reason they can grow up to 7 meters in length and weigh more than a ton. Number 10. Chicken Coop this may just be the craziest thing swallowed by a shark I've heard of so far. And to add to the confusion, this one is a land animal. Yeah, a land animal. It just doesn't make sense. Why would they venture out into the open ocean? One foot into the freezing cold waters would have had them scuttling back to the safety of the beach, surely. Tiger sharks eat many things. They are notorious for eating anything they can find, from the remains of dolphins, dugongs, sea turtles, sea snakes, drums, unexploded munitions, and it would seem an entire chicken coop. 
Yeah, that's right, I I'm not insane. In 2010, Marcus Dryman was out catching, tagging, and releasing sharks for research when he pulled up a baby tiger shark. The shark looked normal enough until it started coughing up feathers. He thought the shark might have eaten a seagull or another seabird, but on close inspection of the feather, he concluded it belonged to a brown thrasher. These birds live inland and amongst the forest, so it was very unusual that this situation could have even occurred. Turns out the shark had eaten the entire chicken coop, along with all of the birds housed inside. My guess is this must have fallen off a boat, surely. What do you think? Number 9. A Horse's Head if you thought the chicken coop was odd, this one's pretty much unbelievable. In fact, it sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster, except it's actually true. An entire horse head was found in the stomach of an 11-foot tiger shark captured on the coast of Australia. Certainly makes you wonder where the rest of it ended up. Well, perhaps the shark shared it with his friends. It sounds crazy, but apparently, it's not the first time a horse has had an encounter with a shark. In 2005, while swimming in a Brisbane, Australia river, a 500 kilogram racing horse was caught by a hungry bull shark. The shark dragged the horse underwater, where it proceeded to attack the back of it for roughly 15 seconds before retreating. The owner pulled the horse to shore, and it was fortunate to survive the unusual attack with very little damage done. Researchers say that bull sharks in the area attack when there's little fish moving through the waterways. But back to the head. This shark obviously won its fight with its four-legged victim. It is suspected that the horse was cooling off near the beach water when the shark attacked and bit its head clean off. It might have been a tasty treat for the shark, but could you imagine the shock and horror felt by the owner of the poor horse? That would seriously put you off exercising your horse near water again. Number 8. A Bottle of Wine When visiting France, you need to try the wine. Well, at least according to the sharks that live there, or so we've heard. In 1942, a French fishing boat pulled up a blue shark just off the coast. The shark obviously felt the need for a tipple with one of its meals, because once gutted, a nice 12-pound bottle of wine was found in its stomach. The Portuguese Madeira bottle of wine was found completely intact, with the contents still drinkable inside. What a catch! While a shark's stomach acid is incredibly strong, it obviously wasn't a match for the glass bottle. It's uncertain how the bottle of wine made its way into the ocean, let alone why it was still full. But what is certain is that the shark must have swallowed it whole in order to keep it intact, missing out on the pleasant drop inside. The pure glass bottle was obviously well maintained, not releasing any chemicals into the shark and causing premature death. I wonder if the fisherman enjoyed the wine with his pan-fried shark that night. Number 7. Tires Tires are found everywhere. On cars, trailers, motorbikes, scooters, burnt out and abandoned on the countryside, but I've never heard of any being found inside of an animal. Why would anything want to eat an old rubber tire? I couldn't imagine it tasting very good, but perhaps I'm wrong. Can't say I'm gonna taste test, I'll leave that up to this guy. In the early 70s, some extremely intelligent environmental activists dumped about a million tires into the ocean off the Gulf of Mexico. They did this to try and create a man-made reef. It was hoped the reef would promote the growth of wildlife, and it was a good way to use some of the old tires lying about. The idea was a complete failure, causing problems and pollution in the waterway, and not to mention the health risks to the creatures living under the surface. These tires were even found in the stomachs of sharks living in the area. In fact, many have become so accustomed to tires in the sea that they're still occasionally found today with tire rubber in their stomachs. Seriously, these guys are not fussy. Number 6. A Medieval Medallion A 13th or early 14th century Portuguese medallion would be worth a lot of money, right? You'd want to keep it safe and out of the clutches of any thieves, right? I know I would. What would you say then if I told you that this priceless metal was stolen by a thief that lurks on the deep, dark depths of the ocean floor? 
Well, it just so happens that this was the case, and the medallion traveled halfway across the world inside the shark's stomach. A Malaysian fisherman caught a small shark and brought it home for dinner. When preparing the shark that evening, his wife found the valuable disc within its stomach. It's believed that the medallion had likely sat on the sea floor for hundreds of years before accidentally being eaten by the young shark, seeing its reflection as a smaller fish. The fisherman would be counting his lucky stars. Not only did he catch a shark to feed his family, he also snared himself a valuable medallion in the process. Number 5. A Bulldog even man's best friend isn't safe from the jaws of these menacing creatures. Yeah, you heard it here. This shark put a bulldog on his menu. These dogs can grow up to 25 kilograms, so it would definitely make for a good meal. This tiger shark was caught in Sydney Harbor with the bulldog, or at least part of the bulldog, found within its stomach. The head and forelegs were found after fishermen dissected the shark to have a closer look at what was inside. In 2017, beach lifeguards warned beachgoers to keep hold of their dogs after dogs were pinched by the water by sharks swimming in the area. The tiger shark in this instance was definitely not fussy, as it even ate the leash that was still tied around the beloved pet's neck. There have been many cases of dogs being gobbled up as they're enjoying a swim, completely unaware of the monsters that lurk beneath. It might be best to keep them on the beach. I'm better safe than sorry. Number 4. A Reindeer The North American reindeer can grow to a huge 180 kilograms and to a height of 150 centimeters. This would be a crazy meal for a shark, but what's crazier is that a shark was able to consume an entire reindeer and keep it completely intact. I doubt it was very comfortable swallowing its antlers. This poor victim was found in the stomach of a Greenland shark. Reindeer are predominantly land-based animals, so how on earth was it found in a shark? Scientists believed that this was most likely a weak animal that got too close to the subarctic waters, or in this case, it may have died in the water, the scavenger then finding it and making a meal. These Greenland sharks are known for their long lifespan, living between 300 and 500 years. They're attracted to the smell of rotting flesh, so the theory that the reindeer was already dead makes a lot of sense. A savage shark, they live in below freezing waters, so fortunately there's little chance of running into one. That's a relief, wouldn't you say? Number 3. Porcupine This meal may have been quite the shock to the shark as the spines wound their way through its mouth and throat. It'd be like swallowing a series of toothpicks after cleaning your teeth. That wouldn't be very comfortable and probably hurt a lot. This next crazy thing that a shark has swallowed will leave you quivering in the thought. A porcupine. This whole scenario is completely bizarre. The tiger shark is clearly a slow learner. I would have thought word would get out amongst the other sharks not to eat some of the crazy things we've heard of, but obviously not. This shark, caught along Bondi Beach in Australia, was found with porcupine spines in its stomach. It normally feeds off squid, octopus, small reef fish, boxfish, and puffers. Even though they are the second most dangerous fish after the Great White, I would never have thought they'd be so desperate to eat a porcupine. It's suspected that the shark was drawn by the smell of the decaying dead porcupine which died in the water. But it's still a shock to see the spines within the shark's digestive system. Maybe that's what killed it, who knows. Number 2. A full suit of armor. An ancient knight? close to it. This shark swallowed a full suit of armor. I can't think what would be in the least appetizing about that, but hey, what would I know? A story from French naturalist Guillaume Rondelet says that in the 16th century, a great white shark was pulled ashore and dissected. Little did the fisherman know that he would find an entire suit of knight's armor within the stomach of the shark. The great white shark is known as the ocean's largest predator, and as the biggest predator, it has a big appetite. These sharks usually eat sea mammals, so the shark probably thought the man wearing a suit of armor was a seal. It's an impressive feat to eat a suit of armor. Scientists now say that the shark would have had to swallow the suit whole, as it would be nearly impossible to bite through. The mind really does boggle. 
Number 1. A Fur Coat The tiger shark clearly has the most intriguing taste buds of any animal I've ever heard of. In this case, it also has an extremely expensive taste at that, although I'm not certain why. This shark decided it would like a fur coat, but not to keep it warm. Nothing that original. When dissected, a fur coat was found inside this tiger shark. The coat was on display in the early 1990s as part of a traveling expedition located in the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles. It somehow found its way into the waterway and, voila, became the shark's lunch. It's insane to imagine that someone was on a beach wearing a fur coat. Fur coats would usually be worn to keep someone warm, and with that in mind, who goes to the beach when it's cold? This person actually deserved to lose their coat. They're clearly a bad person. At first glance, the fur resembles that of a fur seal, a delicious treat for a hungry shark. Unfortunately, the shark was probably disappointed though, as unlike a seal, the fur coat didn't contain any meat. Predators of the deep and among some of the largest animals in the ocean, sharks are ruthless when it comes to mealtime. Many will literally eat anything in their path, including other sharks, items of clothing, and anything that falls off a passing boat. Unlike us humans, they're not fussy, so next time you're in the ocean, keep an eye out for a fin. I will be. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!